Made in Hollywood. A murder mystery party spirals out of control over the course of one crazy night. Jason Bateman stars in the action comedy Game Night, where the rules are thrown out the window and the stakes are life and death. Hi, I'm Kylie Bunbury. And I'm Lamorne Morris. You're watching Made in Hollywood, and here's a clip from the movie Game Night. Tonight, we're taking Game Night up a notch. We don't need a board, and we do not need pieces. We won't need any extra rudeness, either. When it comes to the script, did you take a lot of liberties, or did you guys kind of try to stick to the words of the script? Well, you always try to, you know, try to keep it loose and make it seem like what you're saying was not written, and so oftentimes that'll that'll make you kind of get a little mushy with the lines, kind of at the beginning or the end, or if you think up something funny, you know, you might you might try saying it, and then. You, know, you leave it up to the directors and the editor to decide, well, you know, is that better than what's written or, or vice versa? It's not the kind of movie that lends itself to too much riffing because it's so plot heavy. Plot that said, we didn't restrict them from any ad libbing, but uh, I think they also knew that it, because it was so plot driven, you kind of have to keep the pace going. And we didn't really want to sit in any one like back and forth that takes forever. Lamorne is obviously comedically on point, very funny, and so he took more so some of the liberties because he's been, he's, he's earned that. I, I, <laughs> however, I pretty much just stuck to the script. I throw a little in there sometimes, but uh. She is not giving herself enough credit. She would go off the, go off the rails a little bit and it would be hilarious and then she would look over at me like, is that okay? You're, you're a great ad liver. Really? Yeah. No, I you just didn't know, know the lines. <laughs> Someone in this room is going to be taken. Oh, it's a murder mystery party. Fun. Whoever finds the victim wins the grand prize, the keys to the stingray. The origination of the movie was, a uh, producer called me and he said, game night title, game night. And I'm like, okay, yeah, game night, game night. What could we do? And that's when I go, why don't we put it over one night and we'll do a murder mystery party and I go, what if somebody actually gets murdered? And the producer's like, that's it? Just the keys? No, Ryan, the whole car. Oh, yes! Not only is it clever and witty, but the physical comedy just like takes it to another level because there's so much action in this in this film as well. Did you love that aspect of it? Yeah, that was something that always really appealed to me was, you know, what what starts is uh, sort of a, a, a tame and boring night from some tame and boring people and then something goes sideways that they're not able to really, you know, navigate and and uh, and, and it and it leaves the, the the safe warm house and gets out into the cold dark streets and um, the escalations go from there. <laughs> I had fun the whole time. I, I, I had fun. It was like being in a sort of live action Scooby Doo. Um, kind of yeah, film. that's really good. Yeah, thank you. You were Scooby, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, scrappy. I, I loved the mix of everything in this movie. Yeah, I mean, aside from the mixing of genres, it was just one of the funniest scripts I had read in a very long time. Ready, set, and go! To your prior question, I'd say yes. <laughs> Absolutely, and you're doing a, some, some serious... Did I not answer the question? I Dear did. liking? Kind I of? just, yeah, I just used fewer words. <laughs> I think that's what makes this movie unique, is that it, there's there's a dark undertone to it, then there's the action, but it's also really funny. It would be, be fearful of dying. Uh, you know, bad guys had to be real. It's not goofy. And so to mix the genres like that, when I was writing it, it was, it was hard. But it was also something really enjoyable because it was something different than I'd done before. You're not gonna know what's real and what's fake. Is this gun real? Oh, oh no, Andy. Oh, oh no, 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 Dang. no. Dang. no. Oh my god, I shot you! What the And also in this film you came aboard as a producer as well? The script came to um, me and my producing partner um, uh, a bunch of years ago and, and he developed it for me to direct and star and, and produce and, and um, you know, we went through a bunch of different drafts and writers, and and uh, and then when John and Jonathan um, uh, became a part of the conversation to possibly do the next the next rewrite, 
Um, we knew that they, they were really interested in directing the things that, that they write now. And, and so uh, we wanted the writing so much, I said, well, I'll just step off as a director and, and, and just do the, the producing and the acting. And, um, and luckily they said yes, and, and it was a really fun time. Stop! Wait, wait, I have kids at home. Not with an ass like that, you don't. Oh, well, thank you.